Everything's changed. Hey, what is up guys? And welcome back to Taste Test Tuesday. And I know I missed last week. I didn't upload a Taste Test Tuesday or any video last week because as you can see, we have moved yet again. Now we haven't moved far. We're staying in Helsinki. Uh, but yeah, we, we needed to move to a, a bigger place in time for uh, the baby to come. And yeah. so right now we are in the, the baby's room slash uh, dad's office. And by the way, this is uh, where I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch a lot. So if you're into Twitch, if that's your thing, there'll be a link in the description below. Come follow me on there. It's uh, it's fun. It's a fun time over on Twitch. Anyway, I hope you can forgive me for not uploading a taste as Tuesday last week, but we are back. We're back in business. So today I thought I would do a general finished drink slash soda video because I did a energy drink one earlier in the summer, but I haven't done like a general one in a while. So I thought it was about time. Plus I'd been to the supermarket a couple of times, seen some quite new and interesting things uh, to try. So yeah, here we are and let's get started. Now I think I have to start with this one. This is uh hot while limonade, but it is Asa mix flavor. Now, of course, Asa mix is, is uh, an interesting one actually coming from the UK. I definitely read that as ass mix and I, def I definitely didn't want any of those candies. <laughs> but Asa mix is of course um, a very popular candy here made by Fatsa and now they have made a a, a, a drink out of the flavor, which is quite interesting. I know Hartwell actually sent a lot of YouTubers and influencers uh, boxes of this when they released it a few weeks ago. I'm still waiting for mine in the mail, Hartwell. I wanna try and not let that influence my score of your drink. All right, let's try this out. What? Uh, I don't know what to say. That's very interesting. You know, in Asimix, you get the different candies. There's salmiaki, there's orange, there's all kinds of different fru fruity flavors as well. This smells like every single one of them combined. I thought maybe it would be, I don't know, looking at it, it's kind of purple, maybe like a, I don't know, grape slash raspberry slash strawberry flavor. I don't know, but you can actually smell like licorice or salmiaki in there as well. They have all, every single flavor in the smell. That's amazing. I was, I was not expecting that. I just realized I'm quite close, sorry about that. But it can smell as good as it wants. It's all about the taste. Let's try it. My brain definitely can't function enough to process all these flavors. This is the only way I can describe this taste. You know, in the movie, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, or is it Charlie and the Chocolate? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And they've got these like waterfalls of these candy rivers and all that. This is what I imagine that tastes like. It tastes like every single flavor imaginable. As soon as you taste it, it tastes a little bit licorice-y. Now I'm getting, yeah, more licorice, but also some fruity flavors in there too. I have to say, this is, <laughs> this is really incredible. Like in a weird way, like, oh man. I have to say, Hartwell did a very, very good job of of incorporating all of the candies in Asimix into a drink. But all in all, it's actually quite good, quite tasty and <laughs> very interesting as well. So I think the Asimix Limonade is gonna get a three out of five. Actually pretty good. All right, and now we are going back into the energy drink section a little bit. I know I did a video earlier on in the summer all about energy drinks, but I saw this one in the store and I was, I was intrigued. So this one is the ED, so energy drink, dragon fruit flavor. But <laughs> this is the claim that made me very interested. With cooling effect. I don't know exactly what they're going for with the cooling effect, because of course any drink that's been in the fridge will have a cooling effect. It will cool you down. I'm kind of hoping this is special. I'm hoping there's some kind of internal cooling effect. You know, kind of like a gaming rig with these water-cooled pipes. That's how I want to feel. I want to feel just like, just like that. Also, dragon fruit, frost edition. Man, there's so much going on in this. I just had to try it. Mm, I'm just getting kind of general energy drink smell. Now I'm sniffing past that. There's definitely a, a very interesting smell. That's not too bad, you know? I, I really want to know what color this is as well. I mean, I'm hoping it's blue. <laughs> uh, 
okay, that wouldn't look out of place inside your car, like washer fluid or something. Now, I've, no, I've not had many dragon fruit in my life. I think maybe I've even tried it once. Uh, so I don't really have much to compare the, the flavor to if it tastes like dragon fruit or not. I have no idea. As for the cooling effect, you know, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> nah. No more of a cooling effect than probably any of these other drinks will have. But that aside and you know, everything else aside is actually really, really tasty. I quite like that. And yes, you do get that kind of general energy drink taste. You know what I mean when I say that, but there's definitely a, a dragon fruit flavor, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but all in all, I could probably see myself buying this again. It's actually quite tasty. So this is gonna get also a three out of five. All right, moving on, we are gonna try this one. I don't exactly know why I picked this up. I think maybe because it just looked a little bit different. I think another reason why I decided to try this one is because it's not by one of the, the big brewing or you know, soda companies, the Hartwells, the uh, Sinebrukov, etc. This is by Sweet Bitter and Company. And this is the lime cola flavor. And I mean, just looking at the, the liquid inside, it doesn't look like a you know, your, your average cola uh, <laughs> drink. And just because I see it here, and maybe it's interesting to some people, uh, in terms of the ingredients, it, it uses ecological everything, basically. E ecological sugar, uh, ecological, I can't say that for some reason today. Ecological lime juice, ecological cola extract. Okay. And this one does have a bottle cap, and I don't have a bottle opener. Fortunately, we have just moved and I have a hammer right next to my desk. Yeah, the hammer didn't work, but apparently I have a bracelet with a, a bottle open on it as well. <laughs> hey, nice. That smells exactly like I would imagine the very first Coke, like Coca-Cola smelled like. You know, when you see these old pictures and stuff and these Coca-Cola bottles and they're like super like old and authentic and that's exactly what I'd imagine that smells like. That smells incredible. It smells like the candies. It smells like the cola bottle candies. Wow, yes. As for lime, yeah, I guess there's a little citrusy flavor going on in there. Let's go, oh man, I can't wait to try this. Wow, that's all I can say. That is incredible. That is really, really good. And like you get the cola flavor, you get that kind of cola bottle flavor, but also you get this limey twist. And it's really fresh and really refreshing and kind of, it's almost like a, like it's not a sourness or a bitterness, but something else there on the tip of your tongue as well. That's amazing. I, if, if you like cola, you definitely got to try this. This is really good. You know what guys, I, I was like, mm, maybe I should give it a four. No, this is a five out of five. This is really, really tasty. Really, really good. Wow. Five out of five. All right, next up. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I know this isn't like a soda or anything. Uh, well, maybe it is. I don't know. I've not tried it before. Uh, but this is from Paulig, and Paulig, of course, make coffee products. And I've seen these in the stores so, so much. And they have this one, which is a sparkling coffee, which we're going to try now. They've also got like a cold rooibos tea and a bunch of other of these kind of refrigerated caffeine drinks. I don't know. But yes, this one we are going to try is the cold brew sparkling coffee um, lemon flavor. I'm really, I'm genuinely really interested to try this. Sparkling coffee. Whatever next. Okay. I mean, you can smell the separate flavors. You can smell lemon and you can smell coffee. <laughs> that is bizarre. Now I know some people like a slice of lemon with their tea, but with coffee, I can't imagine this is gonna taste very good. It says no artificial sweeteners, natural flavors. <laughs> oh man, I really wanted to like this, <laughs> but no. No, no, no. Because it's such like a, a clear liquid, it may, maybe it doesn't really show on the camera, but it's it's quite like light, I guess. Like compared to a lot of coffee products, which are quite dark, of course. Um, this is, yeah, quite light, but the coffee flavor is really strong. I don't know why I'm taking another sip. Okay, the second sip wasn't as bad. I think maybe my taste buds were a little bit assaulted. 
<laughs> for the first sip. But like I said, you can really separate the flavors. You can taste the lemon, you can taste the coffee. I'm just not sure if they go together, if I'm honest. I can imagine if it's like a really boiling hot day, you're really craving coffee, but it's too hot to have like, you know, a regular filter coffee or whatever, sure. Yeah, you're gonna get a little bit of a caffeine kick. Presumably there's caffeine in here. Yeah, 35 milligrams of caffeine per bottle. Yeah, not for me, not for me. I think this is gonna have to be a one out of five. All right, this next one, I literally saw in the store just now. And uh, <laughs> yeah, interesting. So this one is called Refresh and it's under the battery brand, uh, but this is water with protein. <laughs> Oh my God, protein water. I mean, I, I think I've seen everything now. Yeah, I've definitely seen everything now. So yes, this is, I guess, a, a, a kind of an energy drink. It says, uh, this is simply pure water with added protein, a touch of caffeine and subtle flavoring. Best post-workout. Okay, so they're going after the, the fitness folks with this one, protein water. Uh, I've got to see how much they're ripping people off for this one. Battery energy water protein, two euro seventy nine. So actually, in terms of like the again the energy drink dragon fruit, that was two forty five. So I mean, I guess they're on the same kind of price level. So that was quite interesting. Uh, and yeah, this is the lingonberry and apple flavor. They had a few different products under this refresh brand. There was like one with BCAAs. Uh, and, and another one, I can't remember what that was, but this was the only protein flavor I saw. I don't know if there's others. But anyway, lingonberry and apple protein. I wonder if I'm gonna feel like mega pumped and jacked after this. Okay, smell straight away. I don't need my nose anywhere close to this. I can smell the apple. That's a good sign. Yeah, really like apple-y flavor or smell. Smell-wise, pretty damn good. How much protein do they say is in this? 12 and a half grams per liter, I guess. So in this is almost half a liter, so like six grams of, of protein. Uh, yeah, that's weird. It kind of tastes like a, kind of tastes like a protein shake in a weird way. Obviously this is carbonated and it's very like watery. It's carbonated water essentially. But yeah, that kind of tastes like a protein shake. Well, I don't know if that's like a, a connection that I'm making, but that's strange. That being said, it doesn't taste bad. It does not taste bad at all. Lingonberry and apple, pretty good flavor combination. The only thing that bothers me about this is the is the protein aspect. Sure, it has more protein than your average bottle of water, but if you're really that desperate for six grams of protein, I mean, you can wait till you get, uh, or just buy a protein shake that probably has like 20 or 25 grams. I don't know why this exists. I don't know why this is a, I feel like I'm on Shark Tank now. Man, I love Shark Tank. Does anyone else love Shark Tank? I freaking love that show. But yeah, it does taste good. So I'm gonna give this a two out of five. Screw it, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> Last but not least. <laughs> oh yeah, Canes. So I've tried uh, maybe one or two of these Canes uh, sodas. And as I've mentioned before, I think they're aiming for quite an international feel on this, kind of like a, a Californian surfy vibe with their labels. I, I think it looks cool. I think the bottles look, look really cool. And this one is Kane's special edition, Coachella Chill, sour apple and yuzu. I have no freaking idea what a yuzu is. <laughs> yuzu is a citrus fruit and plant in the family of root cake cake. Rutaceae. <laughs> Rutaceae. Okay, come on then, Canis. What you got for me? What's a yuzu smell like? I, t I totally smell sour apple, and then there's something else there, I guess is the yuzu, but. That's actually really quite good. I, I mean, they could have just said it was sour apple flavor, and I would have believed them. I mean, I still have no idea what a yuzu is slash tastes like, because this pretty much just tastes like sour apple. But yeah, unfortunately, there's not an awful lot more to say about this Coachella Chill, apart from maybe the name. <laughs> not sure about that. Yeah, like I say, there's not an awful lot to, to say about this. Uh, you get 20 cents back for the punty. 
It's always good. But I mean, compared to the, the other things that we've tried today, this is quite standard. It's quite unremarkable, you know. Uh, it looks cool, tastes fine. It's, it's, you know, it's fine. It's quite refreshing, sour apple flavor. So it's gonna get a two and a half out of five. So by a fairly large margin, my favorite today is the Lime Cola by Sweet, Bitter and Company. It's just nostalgia. That's what I was looking for. It's nostalgia in a freaking bottle. Even like memories you don't have. Like you take one sip of this and you're transported to like 1920 or whenever the first freaking cola bottle was made, I don't know. Or should I have said 1894, I beg your pardon. And like your childhood eating like fizzy cola bottles. Oh man, yeah, it's just nostalgia in a, in a bottle and I love it and, the, and it tastes great too. I think I need to like do a little few laps around the block or something just to try and burn off some of the sugar. I'm feeling quite energized right now. But hopefully you have enjoyed this video and if you have, please hit that like button and if you're new around here, you can hit that subscribe button and I will bring you videos every single week. Unless I move, of course. Then maybe I'll take a week off. Feel free to check out the links in the description to my Twitch and Instagram, especially my Twitch. I'm gonna be streaming quite a lot over there over, well, since I've got this cool little setup. So yeah, Twitch, Dave underscore CAD, Instagram at Dave.CAD. But this has been a fun one, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching once again. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.